Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we are gonna look at the Constellation series from the Bacopo Playing Card Company. All right, so what is the Constellation series? What is this all about? This is a deck of cards inspired by the 12 constellations and uh, 12 zodiac symbols. So basically this was a Kickstarter. It was successfully funded, of course, and these are the cards. And it all started from this deck right here, the Scorpio. Uh, they designed this deck and it received a lot of praise and a lot of, uh, you know, like encouragement. And so what they decided to do was to create uh, 12 decks in total, each one different, each one a little different, and uh, each one inspired by by the signs that they represent. Now, I don't have all 12 decks, I have four, okay? So of the four, I'm gonna show you what I have, of course, but I do wanna show you all of them. So a lot of the pictures I'm gonna show you, they're not mine, they're the ones that you can find on the internet, okay? But I did wanna show them to you and I'm gonna throw them up there uh, right now, just so you can see the differences because I really want you to see the design on all 12 of these because maybe Capricorn doesn't work for you and you're like, oh, I, I like Taurus, or maybe uh, you, know, you wanna get the deck that's more closely associated with your style star sign. So let me talk a little bit about uh, the constellations and the zodiac while I show you these pictures, okay? Zodiac is a Greek word. It's Greek for circle of animals. And if you know anything about the constellations, they kind of wrap in a belt. There's a zodiac belt that goes across um, the sky and uh, it extends approximately from eight degrees north or south of the ecliptic the apparent path of the sun across a celestial sphere over the course of an entire year. So the paths of the moon and visible planets are also within that belt of the zodiac. So somewhere around the end of the fifth century BC, uh, Babylonian astronomers divided this ecliptic into 12 equal signs by analogy to 12 schematic months of 30 days apiece. So you have Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Apicus and Sagittarius. Now, to us, the constellations appear to form shapes across the sky, but they don't really look like that, right? Because the stars themselves don't make up patterns in space. In fact, the distance from our world to those individual stars in their own constellation varies. So often, some of those stars are tens of light years apart, scattering those stars randomly across the galaxy. Because we see pictures, right? We see the pictures in the night that are formed by them only because we see in a two dimension in that sky. So the sky to us is two dimensional and we miss the third dimension by actually being out there in space where the stars are. Still, the constellations can provide entertainment. They're obviously a source of imagination. They can help the lost people, you know, find their way, say, oh, you know, you head towards that constellation. They aid sky watchers when they look for planets and comets and other events. Um, and of course, you know, there's star hopping is something else that, that helps out with that. And as surely as they did with people who've come before us and our ancestors, they also provoke kind of like the sense of timeless wonder. These 12 decks all have different back designs uh, and they're all uh, inspired by these 12 different zodiac signs. All the designs are hand drawn. So all of them are carefully uh, designed to kind of reflect each one of the 12 different constellations. And uh, they're all elaborately made and I think they are a lot of fun. For this review only, I'm gonna look at the Scorpio deck because it's the one that I opened. The tuck ace is all wrapped in a star field all the way across. It's like one continuous picture. And uh, the ink on it is all white and it's made to look just like a deck of bikes. So it says bicycle at the top, trusted since 1885. And of course you have the Scorpio uh, symbol of what the actual you know Zodiac symbol would look like. And it does say Scorpio underneath. One side says air cushion finish, limited edition. The other side says Bacopo Playing Card Company made in the USA and designed in the United Kingdom. The bottom has some ad copy about Bacopo. And the top says poker. And then on this deck, it says three of 130. Now, if you look at the other four decks I have, uh, each one is numbered one, two, three, and four. Um, I can't tell you why 
or how it's gonna get to 130 when there's only 12 constellations, but who knows? The back design is that continuous star field with the Scorpio constellation. And so that's where uh, a little bit of difference will be. You're gonna see a different constellation on the back of the other decks. And then underneath that, it says Scorpio, October 24th to November 22nd. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they are done on a casino grade B stock. They do have air cushion finish and a modern cut. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can always click a link below in the description. The back design is that continuous star field. And like I said, all 12 decks are different. They all have the white bicycle 808 rider back imprint on the top, but underneath you're gonna see a different star field uh, and with different colorings on each deck. Now the other cool thing is that this is a one-way back design. It is a one-way back design and all four corners are different. That means depending on how you fan or spread or flourish, these cards will create four different effects. So that's pretty awesome too. Uh, and as far as uh, quality goes, of course, it's the United States Playing Card Company, so they're awesome. Uh, I love Bicycle. They are my favorite uh, manufacturers of playing cards. And of course, when you get custom cards like this, they're always done in a Q1 quality, which means you're gonna have smooth edges and smooth corners. If I stick 10 of these in the caliper and measure them, uh, 10 in the caliper comes to 2.99, which is right, uh, right smack in the middle of a, a casino grade stock. Uh, similar decks would be the Honeybee deck, uh, the Fox Targets, and the Superior deck. With this deck, you're going to get two extra cards. They are ad cards for Bacopo Playing Card Company. Also with this deck, you're going to get two original Jokers. It's the same star field. One Joker is going to have the constellation of the Zodiac, and the other one is going to have the actual symbol of the Zodiac. Your Ace of Spades is nice and big and bold. There's an M logo there in the center along with some uh, random stars. Underneath that, it says the Bacopo Playing Card Company made in the USA. Your pips and indices will also have the star field as a watermark in the background, uh, and the ink will all be white, so there's no other colorings. So your black cards are white, your red cards are white, your core cards are gonna be bicycle standard, and they will be white as well. And the other interesting thing is the faces of the cards are also the same design as the back. So again, you can fan the faces four different directions to create four different effects. Also, it means reverse cards can stay hidden. Um, if you're not a fan of one-way backs because that's gonna bug you, like if you start shuffling these all together in gameplay, you are going to see a flip-flop uh, design, a flip-flop pattern, um, but it's pretty easy to write the deck. You just go through it uh, in a spread really quickly. You just pull out all the odd cards, you turn them over once, and your deck is back together again. The bright, fun, and creative colors will make this deck a great addition to your cardistry collection. Or if you're a fan of the Zodiac or stars or constellations, I think this is great for collectors as well. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about the Constellation series from Bacopo Playing Cards. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.